All right, it's Patriotic Rottweiler again. Uh, I just did that short video on the L2800 Kubota, my main tractor that I use the most, uh, and I definitely like the most. Uh, but now this video is for the two best things you can buy to go along with your tractor, and there they are right there. The uh, first thing is pallet forks. I mentioned that in the Kubota video. Those are the best thing you could buy. I mean, of course, it'd be, uh, they have different kinds to match your tractor. Uh, my bucket does not quick detach from the arms. It is permanently mounted. So therefore I had to buy this style of fork. Uh, if you have a tractor that where the bucket is quick detach, then they have uh, forks that you know quick attach to that location so you could purchase those uh, if you have to purchase these because your bucket doesn't quick de detach just like mine get some that are rated for way more than your tractor will lift because you will end up picking up stuff that you won't believe uh, trees and logs and i mean just engines and i mean just all kind of stuff that you uh I've, I've hung a, uh, almost a thousand pound hog from these forks and I'll and I'll kind of describe how I do that um, but what you you definitely want the forks rated for much more than what you uh, your, what than what your tractor can lift okay so you have those yellow bolts with the handles the L handles right there and that's how it attaches to the tractor make sure you use a rubber mallet uh, you can tighten those up. You tighten them up with your hand as good as you can and then use a rubber mallet and, and, and knock them for one more revolution and that really keeps them on there pretty tight. You want that spreader bar, that stabilizer bar in the middle. Uh, different manufacturers have different ones but mine as you can see has got bolts at each end and one on the top and you want that to keep the forks from being able to move independently of each other so it, it does hold them in place not only that but i can loosen that stabilizer bar and move it out here to the end and kind of and retighten those bolts where they go through the little holes at the end of the forks and then that allows me to wrap a chain over the end of that and attach the chain back here to the back part so you'd have a length of chain hanging over the end and then the back part attached there and then what that does is it allows you to pick up, you know, tall things like these telephone poles that I use for fence post and uh, drop them in the ground. Once you drill the hole with an auger, or if you really want to do it, you could do it with a post hole digger, but uh, you know, we use an auger. And, but I can pick up with just this little tractor, it'll pick up a pole that's 21 feet long and put it in a, in, in a hole in the ground. So like I said, uh, you definitely want that stabilizer bar. It, it is more useful than you really imagine you could use it for. Uh, and it, these make it easy to, you know, uh, you can put it in one position. All you need is a large crescent wrench and move it from one position to the next. A rubber mallet, you can take the forks on and off. Uh, it doesn't take hardly no time at all. So one of the other uses, and the good part about having the, the forks like this is the fact that when you're out picking up limbs from a storm damage or whatever, you can load up the forks with, with the bigger stuff, and then you still have the bucket to put stuff that's a lot smaller. So that is a good thing as well. So, uh, absolutely number one item to get if you have a tractor that has a loader, preferably four wheel drive, uh, is pallet forks. So the next thing is this. It's a collapsible uh, bulk container. Uh, I purchased two of these now and I love them. I got them off eBay, uh, both of them, and uh, they're about they're about $125, $150 for just the item. And then the shipping, of course, is going to run you another $125, $150. So for about $300, you can get these off eBay. And these are they're used. You just search for used classable bulk um, container and you'll, it'll come up. And so what it is, is I use this with the forks. And of course you have to have somebody driving, 
to trim trees. So we recently trimmed all the trees in my yard and you can get pretty high. And here's a shot of my, my barn. That peak of that barn is about 13 feet high. I can actually get in the bucket, in this classable bucket, and get on top of that barn. And I've done it several times. So this one here is 45 by 48 and it's about 34 inches high. So the forks run through. The little sides, they have doors that come down. So you can drop that little door. And when I get on the barn, that's what actually what I do. Because then that way it gives me another little step to step up higher. Uh, and actually this whole thing collapses down to you know relatively small. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. But I usually leave it just like this, except for I stand it on end when it's inside my barn. So what it, is, what it does is it allows you to get in here with your tools and implements and chainsaws or whatever it is that you were wanting to work on. You can get in here and it's, it's like, it's almost four feet wide. So you can get in here, you can maneuver, you can, uh, you know, you could do a lot of work that's up high. If you want to get on the roof of your house, I'm, that's the way we get on the roof of our house. We don't get on the house with a ladder. We use this tractor with a loader. Um, you know, you can take all your tools with you. The only problem, of course, is it requires two people. And you've got to trust the person who's running the tractor. Because when you're up, uh, you know, 10 feet up in the air and you're swinging a chainsaw around, uh, you got to trust the person who's driving the tractor to make sure that they're moving really slow. They're moving you, you know, up and down correctly and not dumping the, the bucket off of the front of the forks. Uh, a lot of people, they'll strap the bucket, uh, the the collapsible bulk container to the bucket of the tractor. I don't find that really necessary. As long as that person is uh, cognizant of what they're doing with the um, with the loader, then you should be fine. We've, I've never had a problem. So, But anything you want to do up high, it just makes it so much easier. Uh, you, like I said, you can take your tools with you. You're up there. Uh, you're not worried about dropping tools. You're not worried about you know anything else. So those are my two best uh, recommendations for someone to purchase if they have a tractor with a loader. All right, if you want to check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching.